What's going on, everybody? How is everyone doing today? Myself, quite fantastic. Today we're in the Black Temple, looking around for some pets. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little, little tickle in my throat there. So, as far as pets in the Black Temple go, we have pet off the first boss, which is this guy. We're going to fight him anyways. Uh, you know, I, I do in fact love selling pets, helping other people out to obtain pets. Um, uh, in fact, uh, I've given away more pets than I can remember, uh, doubles that I've had and things. But I don't mind selling them also, uh, I don't mind selling them for extremely cheap on the AH. Uh, you know, pets will be on there, uh, 2,000 gold a piece, I'll put them up for you know, a bit of 250 in a buyout of five. If somebody wants to buy it out for five, go ahead. If, if they just want to bid 250 and no one else wants to bid, I am happy with the 250. I run this every week just for a little extra gold anyways. Uh, you know, the pets help with that little extra gold. So here we are in the Black Temple looking for pets. The pets that I have in the Black Temple, as I said, are the pet off the first boss, which is the Leviathan Hatchling, and the pet off of, it's not the last boss, but it's the last boss that drops a pet, and that's the Sister of Temptation. So those are the pets I do have. Uh, the next pet available for me to get is Abyssius. Now, I am working my way to the gatekeeper here. I don't remember his name, uh, but he's this guy here. He, uh, there you go. Supremus. He is the one that drops Abyssius, so we're hoping uh, for our best here to grab Abyssius, and then we'll be working our way inside the temple, working our way to the face boss. That's what, just what I'm calling it, and hoping to get one of those drops. It's going to be quite a while to get all of those, for sure. I could probably buy one off the auction house if I had to, but until, you know, until I have Abyssius, which I still don't have, there's no reason to not come to the Black Temple every, you know, every week and try for... Uh, any of the pets, so here we are, Black Temple, trying for some pets. We're gonna we're gonna sell some stuff on our way in. We're gonna try to sell some stuff on our way in. We're gonna get booted off this mount soon. There it is. Okay, so we sold what we could on our way in, and now we're gonna head into the Black Temple itself and attempt to get some mounts. Or sorry, pets, not mounts. I wish there was some mounts in the Black Temple. We are definitely gonna pick up some. Uh, Nether weave cloth, of course, because why the fuck not? I sell that on the auction house all day long, too. So, we are going to get in here, fight the first boss. Uh, I mean, I have to fight all these wings in order to get to the uh, last boss anyways, so here we are, fighting all these bosses. Uh, I think I have to talk to... yes, I have to talk to Akama. I always forget that I have to talk to him. I uh, honestly don't care, really. Well, I am getting uh, a lot of rep with the uh, Ashtung Death Swarm. It would be nice to eventually become exalted with them. So we'll see how that goes over our weeks of trials and tribulations in the Black Temple here. Uh, obviously, this room is not very difficult to kill everything. Uh, it's basically all dead. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what loot we got up here. So nether weave cloth, nothing else good. All right, we'll kill the boss here. Shade of Kama, dead, no problem. First boss, Black Temple is completed. Well, first boss inside the Black Temple is completed. Of course, we've already killed two bosses. Not that that's a big deal. All right, so next we are going to be headed to the right, and then when we go to the right, we go upstairs and onto the ramparts, I guess we'll call them, and we'll head over and fight another uh, fight another boss, and then we'll come back inside, head over, fight the faces, and hopefully we will get one of the faces to drop. I still haven't had any of them. I still haven't had any of them drop, and, uh, So, I still haven't had any of them to drop, but I am hoping, I'm hoping, you know, I love collecting things, pets, mounts, 
so my guild finally seems to be picking up with, uh, you know, friends, IRL friends. So hopefully soon here we get um, we get enough people, maybe close to start raiding. That's what I'm hoping for at least. And then from there we will go ahead and you know maybe pick up a couple randoms or just pug every you know pug some people every week and if they're not in a uh, not in a guild and we pug them perhaps um, perhaps uh, you know we'll invite them to the guild and see what they say. So we got some guild chat going on here. Uh, you know, if, if you've been playing uh, Warcraft since the beginning, I have. I never made it to raiding in the beginning, but I have been playing since vanilla. Uh, they have simplified the game a lot. But I do think it's, it's for the better. They made it... You know, my class still plays the exact same way it did in uh, Lich King the last time I really tried to play it. Um, uh, hold on, I got a message here. Uh, uh, 7-5. Uh, let's do that. 5... lose money, don't you? Okay, I got a question for you guys. If you're watching this video, leave uh, leave your answer in the comment. Uh, my friend just asked me. Um, seven to five odds. If he makes a bet on something that's seven to five odds, he wanted to know how much he would, how much money he would win if he won the bet. At seven to five odds. Now, so he says he would win seven if he bet five dollars. Uh, I think so. Every five dollars you win seven. So if you bet ten dollars, you would win fourteen. I think that's how it works. Uh, you know, leave. So if it's seven to five odds and you bet five dollars, you win seven. Um, I think that's correct. He says, you know, bet five wins seven. I think he's right. If you were to bet ten, you'd win fourteen, so on and so forth. Because, uh, like, if the if it was two to one odds and you bet a dollar, you would double your money. You would go to two. So, I imagine that he's right there. Um, <clears throat> but perhaps you're watching. Leave a you know leave a comment. Let me know if uh, we're thinking about this right. Uh, without getting out some paper and really doing some math work there, which would be simple math anyways. Uh, seven over five times five over one, um, or something. I don't even know. Whatever. I think he's right. If you bet five, you win seven. That's all we need to know. So. So he asked if the bet was three to two and he bet six, he would get nine. So for every two he bet, he would get three back. So if he bet four, he would get six. If he bet six, he would get nine. So that follows the same kind of rule as the other bet. So 
Um, I'm not sure what he's what I'm not sure what he's gambling on. Uh, maybe he's maybe he's betting horses. Horses always have weird odds like that. So, I hope I hope he's has good luck on whatever he's betting on. I'll wish him good luck. And uh, you know, GL on your bets. Uh, but who knows what he's actually betting on? If he's betting on anything, maybe he just saw something and was curious. Maybe he lost the bet and was wondering what he would have got if he won. But hey, that's such is life. All right, so we're heading to the face boss finally, and um, I am super excited to fight the face boss. Uh, chance at a pet. Chance at three, up to three pets. I don't know that it can drop all three at once, but I don't see why it couldn't. Um, because Blizzard, of course, you know, because Blizzard wouldn't allow it, I'm sure. But other than that reason, I couldn't tell you a reason why I couldn't get more than one pet at once here. Uh, we're going to run in here. We're going to drop this down. My shield's already on. And now we just have to wait for this bad boy to open up so we can start attacking him. Suffering. Dead. No problem. Am I cursed? No. I'm fixated on. Whatever. You know. Whatever. Now we just sit here and kill the ads when they come in. It's a pretty easy fight at level 100. Um, my brother who did this fight earlier than level 100 said he had a little problem with it. But I don't remember what level he said he was at. But at level 100 it's a very easy fight. Um, just kill the adds as they come in. And that's it. I mean that's the adds for this section. So the face should be opening back up. Face is opening back up. You kill the next face. Now the other thing I'm wondering is if the faces can come in a random order. I'm not sure. I haven't done this place a lot and haven't really paid attention. If the face has come in a random order, does it matter which face you fight at the end to get your drop, your pet drop? So, such as I just fought Desire. If I fought Desire last, would I get the Fragment of Desire for a pet drop if a pet were to drop? Well, I guess we'll only find out if we get a pet to drop off this boss right now. And then, we still won't know 100%, but if it comes up and it's not the Fragment of Anger, then yes, we will 100% know that it doesn't matter how you kill, you know, which face spawns when. But if it comes up the Fragment of Anger, then we'll have a problem. So, absolutely no pet drop from that boss. And we're going to move on to the uh, to the boss that drops a Sim Sister of Temptation, and then we'll call it a day there. Uh, there's one more boss before that that we have to fight in order to unlock the door. Which isn't a big deal. Won't be a very long fight. Won't be very hard. Um, won't be very hard. Uh, not won't be a very hard fight. Uh, be a quick fight. And then we'll obviously kill our boss. Go fight the boss that drops the sister temptation. Hope for the best there. And move on with our lives. Of course, you know, still trying to save up as much gold as humanly possible. And getting out of the Black Temple will be fun. Probably just teleport out like I did. Like I do every dungeon in, uh... Just like I do in every, every raid dungeon in the Outlands. So here we are. Kill some more of these guys here. I really, I'm really mad that they dropped the price on the gems. They used to be worth, like, I think it was five gold a piece. Now they're worth twenty silver, and uh, that's upsetting. Switching up my mount. Switching it up a little bit here. 
every once in a while you gotta switch up your mount when you have a few of them. I could just put it on favorite and, you know, just set the favorite thing and then whatever I get when I click the favorite's what I get, but that's not how I roll. Sometimes I just feel like I want a certain mount. I want to ride a certain mount. Right now I feel like I want to ride the Raven Lord. It's a rare mount. It's one of the few rare mounts that I've had luck to get, and unfortunately I got it uh, before I started recording any of this, but I only got it a few weeks before Draenor even came out. Maybe even the week before Draenor came out. It was... Uh, look, look at, oh, okay. I thought he dropped a gem. I was going to be really mad to get a 20 silver drop from a boss. But uh, luckily we didn't. <clears throat> so, up we go. And I think it's to the left. To get out of here, back upstairs, and to the final pet drop boss. Six stacks of bleed. Whatever. It's not. It's not ripping through me. Is it every second? Every three seconds. Uh, armor reduced by three thousand. Nature damage inflicted every three seconds. That's not really a big deal. Obviously, I mean when you have two hundred sixty-seven thousand HP, not much is a big deal. Okay, so. This is for sale. This goes here. <clears throat> I do enough dungeons where, or not just dungeons, but I do enough raids and dungeons where I keep stacks of cloth with me, um, so I know when to, you know, so I can sell them in the in the AH, help people out a little bit. Uh, this is probably a great place to farm cloth. Humanoids love to drop cloth, so if I come up here and just kill all these humanoids and loot them. It's a great place if you want to if you want to farm cloth. It's not a bad place. Um, so it was 14 from that pole. What is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 10 guys here, plus this guy if he follows me. In. So we got 11. We got have 11 humanoids here, and we get 18 cloth. So if you guys want to farm some cloth while you're in here to put up on the AH. This is the area you do it in for sure. Uh, obviously, it doesn't mean you're going to get as much cloth, or maybe you'll get more cloth. But you know, only got eight that time. But still, it's still a lot of cloth for you know. I'm up to 120. I was at 77. If I if I finished clearing like all the humanoid type things, I don't know that demons will drop it. But, you know, if I killed the rest of the humanoids in there, it'd be even closer to 120. And I still have Tempest Keep to do this week, so I'll definitely have two stacks of cloth to sell this week. No problem. There's another 10 for, our, for us right there. Um, so I'm definitely going to come over here and kill these guys for sure. I mean, why not, right? Get some more cloth. There's another 10. There's a pattern that sells for a gold. We like patterns that sell for a gold. So we're up to 140. I most definitely have enough gold at the end of uh, when I get done with TK to have two stacks to sell. I might even have enough for here. And that's just, you know, getting lucky. Like, look, Swift Steel Bludgeon. I mean,. This, these are the types of things you will miss out if you don't kill tr some trash, at least some trash. I mean, you don't have to kill all the trash, but I do recommend killing some of the trash sometimes, uh, especially if you're farming these places for gold. Okay, so there it is. Uh, demons will, in fact, drop. Um, well, let me make sure this is a demon. Yeah, it's a demon. Demons will, in fact, drop cloth, so that's good to know. Here's another blue. Here's another go one gold. <clears throat> 172. Yeah, I mean, when we're done with TK, for sure, we'll have enough. Oh, 25. I, we need three more. I, I, I feel like I have to kill these guys just to try to get the three. Even if I... Uh, there it is. Okay, so. With that being said, boom... There's another stack. So we have two stacks now that we've cloth to sell this week, which is fantastic. They don't sell for much, maybe like 100 gold, but 
if you're going to be searching for pets anyways, you might as well get the extra hundred gold, right? That's the way I look at it, at least. Boom, Sultry Grimoire. Okay, so we got another pet here. Sultry Grimoire. That is another pet we already had. It is the Sister of Temptation, if I remember correctly. Boom, Sister of Temptation. That's the pet we just got for the third time. Anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, who knows where we'll be. We'll be looking for mounts or pets, of course. And I will see you then. Thanks.